Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Mike Huff. Firefighting is hard enough, but when the source of the flames is underground, the job gets that much more complicated. When the wind is right, you can smell it before you see it. A faint haze of coal smoke filling this Logan County Valley. This coal refuse pile, more commonly known as a gop pile, is burning and has been for some time. It initially shows up on uh, Google Earth. Um, you can see a, a dead spot of where trees and vegetation are out around approximately about 2,000. So about 20 years we know of it, it showed up. Fighting this kind of fire involves digging out the burning material. And when smoldering coal is exposed to oxygen-rich atmosphere, well, the results can be pretty spectacular and dangerous. From the areas of where we were actually excavating fire, we were getting temperatures from a safe distance of well over 900 degrees. So you're probably looking at 1,000 degrees at, at the point. It's very challenging. In fact, the, um, you're dealing with not only uh, excessive heat and temperatures, but you also have uh, uh, issues with uh, steam, you have issues with uh, dangerous gases. Um, it's, it's very dangerous for the person, the operator, who's actually doing the excavation and digging this fire out. That's when visibility uh, can be treacherous, especially when there's no wind, where you got wind blowing in your face, so then all that smoke, ash, soot, it's coming right into the operator's face. It's hot and dirty work. Once the burning material is exposed, it's spread out in thin layers to cool. When the fire is out, the area can then be reclaimed. The firefighting is part of a larger project to make this abandoned mine complex safer. And it all started with a video posted to social media. We were notified by the Hatfield-McCoy Trail about um, visitors from the uh, riding the trail coming out, looking at the site. Um, there was actually documentation of uh, the one back gate with the, that we blocked in at, uh, of uh, where trail riders that actually went back to explore, posted the, the video on social media. And then when the trail authority found out about it, they become really concerned because of uh, that, that liability and, and potential danger. That's because abandoned mine sites are dangerous places, especially open portals to the underground works. It can be very dangerous. I mean, you're, you're talking about conditions in a mine that, for this case, it's more than 60 years old. Um, you have a chance of, uh, again, hazardous gases. Uh, you have a chance of zero uh, oxygen environments. A chance of roof falls. You have, there's, there's so many chances out there and so many uh, potential dangers that it's just you should stay out. The bat gates are designed with openings big enough to allow the bats living in the underground works to come and go freely, but small enough to keep the people out. Most of the time, we found evidence this week of someone damaging a bat gate and crawling inside. This site, the or the Rock House Trail, which these sites are adjacent to as one of the most heavily traveled trails in the entire Hatfield-McCoy system. And every year they keep committing more and more visitors to it, so there's more and more potential for more and more people to become exposed to those sites. Uh, as far as vandalism, van we, we've had the issues with vandalism on, on sites before. We've, you know, people feel that these old sites perhaps have uh, you know, scrap metal, copper and stuff in them that they can make a quick buck on it and don't really take into consideration the dangers of doing so. We really are not aware of the dangers of doing so. Along the Hatfield-McCoy Rock House Trail near Mann, West Virginia, I'm Mike Huff. Thanks for watching.